Hi everyone. I was just sitting here and I and I decided I wanted to paint some denim. So then I thought I would turn the camera on so you could see what I'm doing with painting my denim. Now I was my my granddaughter She's like seven, no, she's not 17. She's 16 and a half years old. And she donated me a couple pair of blue jeans that she doesn't wear anymore so that I could have some denim. And, and so, see, I had gotten this piece of denim in some happy mail from a friend and I used this piece of denim to make a little bit of a little junk journal. And so it was already painted. She had given that to me already painted. So I thought, you know, and I love this. It feels good. And so I love this. And so I want to try to do kind of the same thing. So here I started painting this one. And so I got that one over there, and that's got to dry a little bit before I paint some more. And then I took another piece, and I'm painting this one. I'm painting on the inside. Um, I'm not very artistical. Something's poking me. Oh, it's a sand spur. Doggone it, we got these little sand spurs here in our lovely state of Florida, and especially when you live in the boondocks. Yeah, I must have picked it up outside. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I'm painting, since I don't really have any artistic talents. Now, if you don't have any artistic talents, but you do have paint and a paintbrush, well, then you're good to go. Because that's all you need to paint and a paintbrush. And, um... And like here we go with this here denim, you could probably paint on anything that stands still long enough. So I'm just a painting on this denim and 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 this one I'm putting some pink and I'm just using acrylic paint, just acrylic. And I'm painting on the inside so that the inside will be the outside of the denim, you know, the right side of the denim. Although this, once it's painted, will be the right side of the denim. But um, anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I just have like a lot of paint here and there and everywhere. So, well, there I splash my water all over it. But then I'm going to put some green in here some of this here. Oh, parakeet green. I guess if you have a parakeet and it's green, this paint would match if you have a parakeet and it's green. And so I'm just kind of dabbing paint in spots like that. Oh, that one was too big. And I'm just dabbing, ouch, paint in spots. And then I will, I should actually have a paint. I do have a paint paper there. I should keep my paint paper there to wipe my brushes off so I don't waste paint. Now, and so now I'm going to put some green in here. And for these ones, I'm kind of following what um, this artist did on this one. Kind of following the idea, sort of, a little bit. I think Deborah did this. Deborah did this one, or somebody Deborah knows did this one. So I'm kind of following that kind of an idea. But now, then, if I like these, once I turn them up, once I finish them up, then... I might go to a different design. Not that I know of a different design, but maybe I could paint like a big flower or something. I don't know. This one is just going to be plain old ordinary 
colorful. So, and I like these colors. Pink and green are pretty, pretty, pretty. I like this. I like this, um, this paint. It's nice and creamy and feels good and it looks good and it spreads good and it's just good. It's apple barrel. I think all these, yeah, the pink and the green was apple barrel. Yeah. I like this parakeet green. Okay, now let me put this get most of that pink off of the brush onto this here piece of paper. Let's put my brush in the water. I'm going to pull this one. Now that's had time to dry a little bit. I don't care that it dries too much. This one I used two metallics. Folk, folk art, plaid folk art, metallic copper and metallic amethyst. That's what I used in that this one. And they they're metallic and so they like have that like a glow, like a glitter glow or something. Now this one here that I got in my Happy Mail, it didn't have a um seam down the middle like this. Oh she because this one was cut from the hem of the britches on upward that way so it didn't have a seam i cut mine the opposite way she's got such skinny legs that um i don't think cutting them the other way would have worked i don't think it would have been wide enough but maybe well i guess i would just make the the album whatever wet with just a minute i gotta turn around i gotta turn around and get in my other paint Let's see, just a minute. What color is this? Oh, do I want to use black? Is this black? I think it's black. Yeah, it's black. I didn't I I didn't know if this was black or if it was just the packaging was black, but it's black. Do I want to go black around this? I might want to go black around that other one, the pink and green. Don't think I want black on that one. Okay, let's see. What else do I have that might be awesome? Oh, no, that's ugly. We don't want baby poop brown. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's see. Yellow. Do I want yellow? Yeah, I think I do want yellow. So I got some of this Liquitex Basics acrylic color, and it's yellow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing. Rather than putting paint down on something else, I'm going to just put it right on the fabric and then just move it around on the fabric. Since I have this seam here, I'm not too concerned about painting on this seam because I will cover that seam with a piece of some kind of braid or something. So, so that that will be, because then that will be the spine of the journal. Okay, this here, this here wants to curl right there. I don't know why. Okay, so let's put that right there. Hmm. I'm wearing my beautiful painting smock. Oh, I love this thing. Anyway, um, that was my shirt that I bought from the Goodwill. Got it from the Goodwill. From over there at the Goodwill. Now, like this brush. Now I'm just going to get my paint. Okay, I better move this one because I don't want to get yellow yeller on that one. Okay. Now. Oh, I forgot one thing. 
just a minute. Oh, I can't. My camera is way up here. So I could get my legs moved farther away. I got my, my camera. I hope y'all can hear me with my camera way up here, but let me see. I got to do something here. I'm looking down at my computer. Hi. I just need to say hi to my friend Susan. Hi, Susan. Okay. I don't know if she saw me, but, um, oops, there we go. Let's get it back into the right place. Now I'm going to put this, I'm going to get, I took this, I had this old, um, this old dry erase board. And it's been in sitting there in the storage room closet for like forever. And it really doesn't work as a dry erase board anymore because you dry it's hard to get the stuff off of it. So I thought, well, maybe I can use it for a a um like a work like a spot to work on. And um and but I found that it's near about impossible to get the paint off of here too. Yeah, and so I've been scratching it off with like an old credit card. Credit card don't work for nothing else, so I use it for scratching paint. And so and so it mostly comes off. But then I was watching Stacy from the Pink Poodles. My the Pink Poodle Hero, our Pink Poodle Hero. She's got a mat that is a non-stick mat and that sucker is like 24 by 36 it's huge and it's a non-stick mat and it's like a it's called the greatest mat ever and so i looked that up onto the amazon and i seen it there and but i seen that it was like on Amazon like $46 but I thought I am going to save up my nickels I do believe because I do got already some nickels that I saved because my husband he puts his um like his change in the cup holder of the truck and then I steal it or I mean I don't actually steal it I just sort of take it and so and it adds up after a while. And so I'm thinking I might get one of those. I mean, this will work fine for now. But it says, when I was reading the stats on that mat, because I have like the Tim Holtz or Jim Holtz, whatever his name is. I have one of those nonstick mats, in it, but it's very small, but it slides all over the place. You have to tape it down, or I have to tape it down. I don't know. Maybe normal people don't have to tape it down, but I have to tape it down. So I'm thinking the mat that the perfect, what is she, what she say? What did I just say? I don't know what I just said. The, um, oh, the greatest mat ever. And, um, the craft mat, the greatest craft mat ever. But you know, then I guess I could just put paper if I was, if we read the newspaper, but we don't get the newspaper. Newspapers are just about non-existent anymore because people watches the news on the, on the internet or just listens to the television or something. Oops, that wasn't supposed to go there. And so, but if I had big sheets of paper, I have to find a way. Like um, Miss Stacy from the Pink Poodle people, she has a store up by her. It's like a re reuse a reuse store, and she gets the coolest stuff up there. Boy, if we had something like that down here, I'd be happy as a pig in the sunshine. And you'd probably be able to find big pieces of paper there i guess i could take like a cardboard box apart and put that down and because i know like 
I watched Shannon Green too, and she she um gets big old pieces of paper, and she's got lucky and got things like from a draft or something like they do drafting on humongous pieces of paper that she uses for drop papers, and then when she has gets them all painted up. Then she uses them drop papers again for other crafts. So that's really what I guess I should do is just find something. See, I'm thinking out loud now and I'm getting pretty smart. I'm pretty smart. So that might be what I will do is just see if I can find some large pieces of paper to make us like a drop drop paper they just call them drop papers so that then your paint just drops now see I'm just painting on here right now and it looks like I should have like I might have to go over this with another coat because it doesn't look like it's real covering real well but I want to, when I get this like all painted and the paint is dry, it'll be dry tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll be able to do something more with it. And um, actually maybe my dry erase board would be an art project in itself. Just keep putting more paint on it and pretty soon I can just hang it on the wall. And after, like, I'm dead, then I would be famous and somebody would pay a million dollars for this very dry erase board. But not something how all these famous, or I don't know, most of them, a lot of them, of these famous artists didn't get famous until they was, like, dead and stuff. All dead and stuff. And that's just not right. I think an artist should become famous when they're alive so they can be rich. That's why they say starving artists because they're starving because they don't, they're not really rich until they're like dead. So, Yeah, see, that looks pretty good. This is going to be, but see, I'm going to be adding, like, this one doesn't have any, like, jewels and stuff on it. But you know what I got? I got one of them old things, like, people used to use back in the olden days. Well, not in the olden days, but they're called a bejeweler or something like that. And you can buy them jewels. And you put them on with this little tool called a bejeweler. Beju something like that. A bedazzler. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's a bedazzler. I'm not sure what it's called. But anyway, I got one of those somewhere in this house. I think it's over there on the shelf. Over there on the shelf. Now, let me put this one over there so that paint can soak in a little bit. Wait a minute. Don't flip over. Oops, I flipped that one over. Okay. Now this one, let me see. Now this one, I don't want to do yellow. Because I'm doing that one yellow. And then, of course, I don't want both of them yellow. Oh, I was thinking about this black, wasn't I? So I wonder if I want to do this black. Well... Oh, this is a new one. Holy, oops, I dropped the dog on the lid in the floor. You know, I just drop things lately. I just got the printed dropsies. This is like brand new. Brand new black. Let's put that thing right there. There we go. Now my black is going to come out. And I'm going to go with this black. And I'm going to go around these spots with black. See, this one's got the seam down the middle, too, which I'm going to cover that up with, with some kind of a trim. 
I think. I don't know. You never about you never know about me what I'm going to do. Because sometimes I do nothing. Well, most time I do nothing. Because um like some days I got um I get up in the morning and I says, "Hmm, I wonder what I should do today." Then I think, you know what I think I'll do? I think I'll do what finish what I did yesterday. And my husband says, well, what did you do yesterday? I says, nothing. Nothing, so I'll finish today doing nothing. Because you have to finish doing everything you start. So if you're doing nothing, finish doing nothing before you start doing something. Because doing nothing is important. That's in my humble opinion. I mean, not that you asked for my humble opinion, but you never know. So, so I think this will look good with this black. I am going to put some, I'm going to be putting some white on here too. Now the white, I don't know if I can add the white to it until it is completely dry. I guess I could get my, oh man, I guess, can you guys see that stuff? Maybe I, I don't have like professional lighting. I just got light bulbs here and there. Light bulbs here now, and I hope you can hear me because that camera is like way up there, way the heck up there, and so in the microphone is way the heck up on that camera, and I don't know if my voice is floating up there or not. So, but you know, my voice, yeah, I guess it should be floating up there. It floats all over the place. It floats all over the place. So I should have a song that I could sing, like a musical interlude. I've been singing this one song. I got, um, I remember when I went to my first, my first movie I ever went to see when I was 13 years old was the first movie that I had ever seen. And I was in town with a friend. And her name was Sandy. And we went to see a movie, and it was called Tammy and the Doctor. You know what? I feel like I'm repeating myself. I might have told you all this story before. But um, if I did tell you this, I repeat myself a lot now because I got that old age. And, but, and then my children, they tell me, oh, oh, yeah, you told me that yesterday. And, and they don't want to hear it again, you know. So if I repeat my stories, just plug your ears or something, you know, just plug something. But Tammy and the Doctor was the name. And Susan, Sandra Day, and um, Sandra Day and Peter Fonda played in that movie. And that was my first going to the movies episode ever. And I I was living on a farm at the time and I was like a farmer's daughter and milk cows and stuff. So when we went to the city to see my mom's friend cuz this was my mom's my mom's friend and she had a daughter named Sandy. And um Sand. So all I had was farm clothes, you know, just old farm clothes and school clothes and whatever. And I didn't have anything fancy. Sandy let me borrow an outfit to go to the to the movies, and it was like a matching pair of shorts and a top. They matched. They were made out of the same fabric. I felt so beautiful that day, and so lucky that I was going to go see this movie. And um, we saw Tammy and the Doctor, and I just loved that movie. I just loved it. But Sandra Day, she, Sandra D, Sandra D, 
Sandra Day. Oh, jeez. Sandra D. Okay, Sandra D. Thank you, Hubster. The Hubster has to help me with things. <laughs> yes, they help me remember things. But she sang that song. And I wish he do that. Uh, no, she said, I wish I knew if he knew what I'm thinking of Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love. It goes something like that. And um, that song has been stuck in my head like for two days. And I looked up all the lyrics online to see if I could learn to sing the whole song again. But I haven't, not yet. I haven't learned it yet. But I love this song. It's just so pretty. And then she sang the same song when she was doing Tammy and the Bachelor. So I don't know. I guess she got around a lot because she was Tammy and the Doctor and then she was Tammy and the Bachelor. And um, I guess she was in love both times. I don't know. She might have had Tammy and somebody else, too. I don't know how long that went on that she was doing her little Tammy and somebody. But she was very pretty. And, um, and that was in 1963. That's when I went to the movies, I think. I think I could be wrong because sometimes I'm wrong. I'm not always wrong, but I'm sometimes wrong. Which side? One of, one of these sides is like darker than the other. <laughs> How dorky am I? I just got dork. I just had a, I just had such a dork moment wondering why one side was darker than the other. It's because I painted it black. This side here isn't all painted black yet. I guess that would be the reason. So, but yeah, I was remembering. And so, I remembered my, my little girlfriend's name. I remembered her name. So, I thought, I wonder, it, you know, I knew her maiden name. So, I wonder, I wonder if she has a Facebook page. And if she would even remember me. So I looked, and lo and behold, she still has the same name. And she does have a Facebook page, and I did send her a message, and I also asked her to be my friend, but I haven't heard back. And it's definitely her, because she's in the same town that I grew up in. So it has to be her. Because there's not many people from Esco, Minnesota. Not many people. So I hope I do hear from her. But I think she was a couple years older than me, if I remember correctly. She is. That's right. Because it did say that she graduated in 66. And my graduation year wasn't until 68. So she was a couple years older than me. So, so, um, who knows? She, I don't know. She might just think I'm a stalker, but I left even like, cause I know her mom's name was Alice and she, her mom was friends with my mom. And so I told her my mom's name was Martha and our moms were like best friends for a long time. And so I put it, I gave her that kind of information so she would hopefully know I wasn't like just a stalker. But I think it would be fun to talk to her and see if she remembers that movie. And um, I didn't spend a lot of time with her because it was, she didn't go to the same school as I did or anything like that. She, she went to a different school. And, um, but it would be fun to, to just to talk to her to see if she, so I hope she does. I hope she does respond. I hope she does. I hope she's still around. Because, see, I'm 67 and a half years old. So she's 69 and a half. Or 
or maybe even 70, or maybe just 69, or maybe 68, and she just was smarter than I am. I'm going to like this one, I think. And once I get doodads on here, once I get like little doodads on here, then, you know, I can like sew buttons or stuff. I shouldn't put that black there. I could probably sew buttons on here or I could sew beads on here and make it really, really bohemian. I could just stitch some, I could stitch some like fibers on here. I think though that I need some white Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. On this one for sure, I'm going to put some, I can't do it right now because my black paint is like not dry. I could, whoops, I could maybe draw, I don't know how fast I can, actually the, the pink and the green are already dry, so I don't know, but you know what? What I want to do with this is, oh, I gotta be careful not to get my painty fingers. I gotta look in my junk box. I'm looking in my junk, in my kitchen, junk kitchen basket over here. You got a junk kitchen basket in your area? See, I have this, that lid to something. There you go. If I were to take that. See, my yellow isn't dry on that one either. I think I put them kind of thick. Now, see, this, it has to be thick, though, because I want, because the denim is kind of soft, and I want it to stiffen up a little bit. So the things that I, um, the things that I add to it will stiffen it up some. Do you know what I might do? I might take the pocket, and like in the front cover of the book, I may take the pocket and stitch it or glue it. I don't know if that fabric tack would hold or not, but I don't know how I could stitch it to the front inside of the front cover where I don't have the stitches on the out. Well, it wouldn't matter if I had the stitches on the outside. That would just give the outside more pizzazz. Isn't that right, y'all? So I might do that. And if I put one, like one of the back, or I could put both the back pockets, one on each, on each cover, on the front cover and the back cover. See, when I think out loud, sometimes just real brilliant things come to mind. Well, I don't know if they're real brilliant. I guess I shouldn't heat my phone. Let me move that over there. Put some stuff over there. I probably don't want to get paint on. Yeah, I got to find me some paper. Some just paper. Do you know what I think I could do? And I think I've seen it before. I think... If I go to the hardware store, they have, I got to talk myself out of buying this almost $50 craft mint. But you know what I think they have over at the hardware store? Painters buy it. And it's paper. It's just rolls of paper. It's like brown paper. And it comes in like a roll. And I don't think it costs very much. That is probably, did you hear that, Papa? Yeah. I think I could get me a roll of that paper and use that as backdrops for when I'm painting things. I mean, it wouldn't be non-stick like the mats would be for doing other things, but um, it sure would be good for painting because then I could just, like I have this here piece of paper that I just paint extra paint on. 
I could just paint it right on the brown paper. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me a roll of that paper and use that for... Because lately I like to paint a lot. I, or, you know, or do stuff. I like to put paint on stuff. It's not like call, called like artist painting. But what the heck? Maybe it is. I think I'm going to start calling myself an artist. I'm mashing down. I can see where it's drying. And then, um, and then I see the thick spots and I just kind of smash them. I just kind of smash them down. Now, see, I think I'm liking this black better than I like the yellow one over there. That yellow one over there. But you know what? I think that I'm going to probably take this yellow one and probably put like black around these colors. I got that yellow paint on there pretty thick. Because it's almost like transparent. So, and that might be what I'll do. Well, I'm glad I got this painter's smock from the Goodwill. Well, it wasn't a painter's smock at the Goodwill. It was a shirt. But it was too small for me. But I bought it anyway because I liked it. Because it had all this beauty on it. Like these things. And, um, you see that? See the crease? Yeah. And... So I just cut it straight up the back, straight up the back with a pair of scissors, and um, then I put a little loop on and a button at the neckline in the back, and so now I just can put it on, because the sleeves weren't too small, the sleeves fit okay, it was just my belly, it's just, I've had too many donuts, and so it didn't fit around my belly, so I made it to where it's the whole back is open, and I just wear it for a painter's smock. And I think it's just awesome. And the more paint I, I get on I'm just wiping my fingers on it right now. Okay, the more paint I get on it, the prettier it's going to be. Just a minute, I can get my white paint. I'm turning around in my chair, because it should be right here. Oh, man, do I got to get... You know, I think if I remember right, I think I'm, oh no, I got white paint. Here it is. I was thinking I was maybe almost out, but there, this one is, this one's Liquitex too, and it's white. Okay, so I'm going to just put that, oh, I got something real pretty here. I got to move this so I don't get paint on it. I can't get paint on my pretty things. Okay, because sometimes I do pretty things, and I don't want paint on my pretty things. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this will be fine. I'm just going to. No, I don't know what I do with my baby wipes. Okay, I don't need them either. Oh, here's one. Let me just wipe this. I'm just going to wipe that. See that paint? Oh, that paint's coming off pretty good. Okay. But this is not bad, though. This is 24 by 36. This, this um, dry erase board. So it's a, a good size. So, and it works pretty good. So I have, wait a minute, I think I'm going to, um, I'm going to go, there we go. There, now see, because now, now you can see more, maybe, yeah. And I'm just going to go and make some marks with this. Wait a minute, let me mix this. Make sure I get paint all the way around my circle. It's pretty cool when you can use, you know, just lids or something for tools. I've learned so much stuff on these. There's so many people, there's so many smart people that make videos. And I watch them, people, and I learn stuff. That's where I learned this. Once where I learned this about this. That's where I learned about this this circle thing with this lid. There's a lot of things you can use as paint tools. And this is one of them. And I think I like this right here. 
and see I like you know I've done a lot of paper crafts I've done a lot of crafts period in my lifetime but most of the things that I have done in my lifetime had directions or had instructions and you just followed the directions followed the instructions and when you were done you came out with something exactly like the picture. If it didn't look like the picture on the package or whatnot, then you know you done messed up somewhere. And then you could feel very dejected or something, whatever the word is. So, and then I started doing a lot of paper crafts and just... Only paper. I still do paper crafts. I'm not past that yet. But I have learned that I like doing things that have no rules. Like 10 years ago, I wouldn't have thunk about painting a pair of blue jean breeches legs. I don't think I would have anyway. And, but, do you know how much stress is related to this here project I'm doing right now? None. Not a bit. It is just only fun. It's, that's all. What do you all think about that? I think these white circles really do make that look really nice. And all of this is going to be on that's going to be a journal so I'm liking this now this has to dry I may not be done with this yet because I do think that I actually want to do I think I'm actually going to do some stenciling on it as well I think not right this minute though because I'm gonna look at this one here for a minute now see this one's different now I'm gonna give this one a little bit more of a dry too it's drying up but there's still a few spots few spots that are a little bit not dry so When I look at my computer screen to see what you're seeing, it just looks kind of like dark. But I got three light bulbs. Four. Let me put this one farther, this one. I got four light bulbs shining on this. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, I shouldn't do that with my black finger. Goodness knows. You'd think I was raised in a barn. Oh, let me just wipe it, wipe it on my... Painter smock. Just a minute. I think give me a drink of water. Y'all, y'all, oh, <coughs> go ahead and get your water. Ah, that's good water. Mm -hmm. I went back to drinking only water because, boy, I was getting the heartburn. And I think it was from, because I was getting those little packets you can put in your water that um, has all that artificial stuff in it. My husband always tells me, do not drink that stuff. It's going to kill you. And But I didn't listen to him because I'm not dead, so it didn't kill me. But I think it sure does give me the heartburn. So I'm not going to do them anymore. I'm just going to drink water. Because I don't like the heartburn. I do not like the heartburn. The heartburn is not good. So, just water for the old gal. And anyway, I want to lose a little bit of my belly fat. <laughs> I listen to this one commercial. It keeps coming on. It keeps coming on before a lot of videos. And, and it's that woman that drives me nuts. She's trying to sell something for you to get rid of your belly fat. Jeez. Like, if I want to hear that one more time... I have to hear that one. I listen to the advertisements, though, because I 
sometimes I mute them, but um, I let them play through though, because then I know the YouTuber will get, she gets like paid like 12, maybe not even 12 cents, maybe three cents per advertisement. I don't know. But um, she makes me nuts about that. But I do want to lose some on my belly fat. But the reason I want to do that is so, like, see, I polished my fingernails, this, like, turquoise greenish color. And I want my toenails to match. So right now I can't reach my toenails to paint them to match. But if I lose some of my belly fat, I'll be able to reach my toenails. And then I can have toenails and fingernails that match. Now, I think that would be just awesome. Don't you think so? I bet you think so, too. I know you can't answer me, but I bet you think so, too. Because you know what's classy. You know. Cla class is what I'm looking for. I want to I be classy. Okay, now I think I got that dry enough to do my next step on here. If you're getting bored, just go on. You don't have to stay. There's no, like, rules or limits or anything, you know. You're not getting paid to watch. So, wait a minute. I want to get me a... Wait a minute. i got to wipe this brush off right here. Get that out of my water. Boy, I'm going to have to get me some clean water. Where is my this brush? Is this the brush I want? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do with this now is I like some black. So I'm going to put some black right there. And then, and then, yeah, I got to get that roll of paper. I still might get the craft mat too, but I'm going to work with getting that paper first because I know that'll be a lot cheaper than the craft mat. And see, I'm just going to go around these with black. So each one of those colors, I'm just going to go around them with, with the black. Black acrylic paint. Acrylic. Black acrylic paint. I think this will look nice. And then once this is dry, then I will Then, I, then I'm going to do the white circles on here, too, because I like the white circles. I really think that white circles are awesome. And then, but I don't know. Now, if I do stenciling, what color would I use? I don't know. I have to give that one some thought, too. Now, if I did stenciling like on this one, Maybe I would like, if after the circles here, maybe if I get a stencil and use like this color paint on a stencil right here, where I'm not going back over that color. You know, that might be an idea. That might be a good idea, actually. Okay. So... I, I won't keep you for the, you know, I really do. I did a couple of live streams one time and I liked them. I had so much fun with them, but the only thing is for some reason, and I don't know the reason, uh, there was a lot of static. And so my, my people that was watching my dear darling friends who I love more than chocolate. I love my friends, but, um, and I love chocolate. But they were hearing a lot of static. And so I don't know why they were hearing all that static. And so, and I know if I was listening to a video and having to listen to all that static, I would just turn it off and go find me another video. And so that's what I got to find out is about that static. So I can do some more live shows because I did, I did too. And I really enjoyed them because then I could look over at the, um, you know, where people were chatting and I could see what they were chatting about. And, um, gosh, they would make me laugh because they'd say funny things. And I like to laugh. I am a laugher. I like laughing. 
Laughing is a good thing. I have to reach to my left hand here for a minute, though. I've rest my arthritic thumb. Now, you're going to hear me complain often about my arthritic thumb. Because actually, I have two arthritic thumbs. But if I let it rest, if I let them rest just for a minute, then it's like better. And then I can work with my thumbs more. But, you know, at least I have thumbs. And that's a good thing. Thumbs are good to have. Because without thumbs, without thumbs, life would be a little bit drastically harder. So, yeah, I like my thumbs. So, But I do complain about them arthritic thumbs. That and my senility. But I can't do anything about that senility. At least my arthritic thumbs. I got this stuff. This stuff. This is cute. This is Tiger Balm right here. Well, we've got a couple of different things. This one's Tiger Balm. But I use that for like um, hand lotion. So if my, um, if my, um, you know my, um, if my arthritic thumbs gives me too much of a hassle, I just put the tiger to it. Or horse liniment. Absorbing horse liniment, I do that too. See, when you get old, like me, when you get old, and I know none of you are old as me yet, things start going to hell in a handbasket. Like your joints. And it's like if you were a car, you could go to the auto shop, and get a lube job and some new brakes and you could get your headlights aligned and you could get oil change and maybe some new shock absorbers I don't know you could if you were a car but you're not a car so not even a truck not even a Volkswagen so you can't do that. You can't just go get everything fixed. Now, and that's the sad thing. So you, so you just kind of deal with it as you grow aged. The senility, though, nothing you can do about that. You just go with it. Dye your hair purple. That's what I did. Just got me some purple dye. Dyed my hair purple. And... Since then, I have dearly loved everything purple. I even found a purple pot at the Goodwill store. Bought it. Do did I need a new pot? No, I didn't. But it was purple, so I bought it. Because I like it now. Because I like purple now. I like a lot of purple. I just... I just... um. Oh, gosh. I keep getting... I just hear the ding, and I looked at my computer, and I got another one of those chain... Things, please don't accept. Please tell, please tell all the contacts in your messenger list not to accept anything from Fabrizio. I get them things all the time. I'm not going to accept things from people I don't know. Period. So you don't have to tell me that, sister. It's my sister. She tells me stuff like that, so I'll know. I know she's just looking after me. And she probably just sends them to all, all her peeps. Now, see now there? How long have I kept you here? Oh, you don't have to stay. You don't have to stay. My videos are like those, though, that if I were you, if I were like, if I were not me and if I were somebody else, like if I was Jane Doe or... Eleanor Roosevelt or anybody like that, I would probably let me play in the background while I was doing something else just for some background noise. That's because all I am is noise. Yeah. And so, so if you're only just like cleaning your desk off or if you're just like coloring a picture or if you so that when you watch my videos because they tend to go kind of long then you should turn my videos on only if you're like coloring a picture or if you're 
if you're just doing something that's like uh, not mindless so much, but yeah, mindless maybe. And then you can just have my noise in the background just to keep you awake so you don't fall asleep. And so like if you're knitting a pair of baby booties or something or washing dishes, I, you know, I don't know, folding the laundry. And I'll just keep you company. I'll just keep you company. You might not like my company, but I like my company. I like my company, actually. I Sometimes I get on my own nerves. And, um, but, you know, it's not that bad. I still have a few ner nerves left. I have a few. Now, my husband, he's on, I'm on his last one, I do believe. But, but he's okay. He's got that selective hearing now where he can just turn me off. Turn, you know, turn the sound off. He can just mute me. He, he just mutes me. And so, because I don't, I don't, you know, I don't shut up a lot. I talk, like, constantly. You know, like if I'm doing the dishes, I'll be sitting, wash, I'll be washing the dishes. You know, the other day I was washing dishes and I thought, gosh, I got a lot of dishes. Why do I have so many dishes? And I'm, you know, I'm talking to myself the whole time I'm washing dishes. And I said, how did we get this many plates dirty? How come we have these many cups dirty? And so then I'd wash a cup and I'd say, there you go, cup, go in the dish trainer, sit nicely there. And then when I got done, I said, you know what? There I have a perfectly good automatic electric dishwasher. Why didn't I just use it? Well, I didn't think of that. I, I haven't used my dish. I guess I should use it pretty soon because otherwise it might just dry rot or something. I don't know if dishwashers do that. But maybe I should use that. But, um, yeah, I talk to myself even when I'm just washing dishes. I, you know, I explain, you know, I explain to my clothes when I'm putting them in the laundry, in the wash machine. No, you can't go in that load, Mr. Colored, because this is only jeans. You got to wait till the next load. No towel, Mr. Towel. You go and wait till the towel load. You know, I have to talk to them. Otherwise, they might jump in the wrong load, and I don't want them jumping in the wrong load. Okay, now this looks pretty dry. This looks pretty dry. You know the funny thing about this here? Now, I'm talking to you all there because I got the camera running. But do you know that if I didn't have the camera running, I would still be talking. I'd still be talking. I would be just talking to this here book cover. And I would be telling this book cover how beautiful she was. And my book cover would probably not answer me, but she would be listening to me anyway. I'll give her a name later on because I do usually get names. I do usually come up with names. I need a little bit more um, white paint there. Oh, what was that? Oh, that, oh, man, that made me get a little bit too much there. That's all right. I don't mind. And so I usually give my, all of my somethings names. I know more, most things Martha. I, my mother's name was Martha. And maybe that's why, but I call things Martha. And there I Martha. Although I never called my mother Martha. Holy smoke. If I'd have called my mother Martha, I'd have had my mouth washed out with soap. I mean, literally, I have had my mouth washed out with soap. When I would sass her or something, yo, we didn't sass our mama. We did not talk back to our mom. No, 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 no. That bar of soap would come out of hiding somewhere. And we got our mouths. Well, I did anyway. I don't know. I don't remember if the rest of the kids did. Because they were probably not as sassy as I was. So, what do you think about this, ladies and gents? Man, 
put it in the comments. Would y'all um hit like on 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 down there below the screen right there, where it says like or it does like. Now, even if you don't like it, like I say, just go ahead and put like anyway. If you don't like it, then you why are you still here? That's my question. And um, now I am happy with this. I think I am happy as a pig in the sunshine. I wish I knew if he knew what I'm thinking of. <laughs> I can't give up my day job. Yeah. <coughs> I used to love to sing. I used to could sing much better when I was like young in my prime. I wish I knew if he knew what I'm thinking of. Tammy. Jammy, Jammy's in love. There, now I like that. Now that's how that's going to live. I'm just going to let these dry now because I like them where they are. See, I like them just where they are now, but I'm going to give them a good dry. I'm probably going to let these dry overnight so that they're good and dry good and dry and then i'm going to start something else on them but for right now i like what i see i like how this metallic paint shines and then i'm probably going to take out a stencil i gotta look through my stencils and see if i find one that i think i really like but yes i'm going to put like a uh, something around here. The edges are going to stay raw. I cut them with pinking shears and they're going to stay raw. This is kind of a stretchy fabric, stretchy denim. So it's not going to, it's not going to unravel. So I'm going to leave the raw edges. I'm going to probably put the snaps on it for the closures because I love my snaps. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to get out my, bed, my jeweler or bedazzler or whatever that thing is called. And I'm going to put some like jewels on here. And, and I'm going to sew some, I'm going to sew. Do you know what I might do? I might just take that edge because it's got that seam. And I might just sew beads all the way down that. I might. Because I am really liking this bohemian style stuff. And I think that would, I may do that. Just like little beads. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to, I am going to call it a day. Not really call it a day because I ain't ready to go to bed yet. But um, I might watch some other people's. Well, I'm going to put this up on, com on the computer I'll, so you can watch it. Okay, thank you for watching my video. And remember always that I love you dearly. I love you guys dearly. And I love you for watching and for leaving me comments and for leaving me likes. And I love you and God bless you. And may he watch over every move you make and every step you take to keep you comfortable and happy and full of lot of craft supplies so you can keep crafting okay love you guys and i'll see you soon bye bye